Good morning and welcome back to another video here from the Off Grid Garage. Well, I want to do a little experiment. I've read some comments on my channel that people still assume you need to put diodes into your solar strings to prevent one string feeding another string with energy when the other string is shaded. And I want to do an experiment because I have two strings up on the garage here on the roof, as you know, and they are both cabled individually down here. So we can actually turn off individual strings and can see what happens. How much power do we actually get when one of the strings is shaded and the other one has full power? And this is the situation we have at the moment. I've got three panels in series. I've got another three panels in series. And these strings are put in parallel into our solar charge controller. So and if I would shade one of these panels, people think that energy is flowing into the charge controller as well as into this part of the solar system and backfeeding these panels here because they have a lower voltage. They are shaded. They don't produce any power. And, and basically they are saying we need to put a diode in this string here to prevent power from going this way. If you are not familiar with the electronic components here, uh, a diode works like a one-way valve in a water circuit, for example, on a pump. So it lets water only flowing in this direction. If water is coming from this way, it blocks up. It doesn't let any water through. And the same is here with the diode. It lets the current flow only in one direction, but not in this direction. So do you need a diode or not? Let's do the test. Yeah, we've got a bit of clouds at the moment here. You can see we've got only 4.6 amps outside. But nevertheless, if you are not familiar with my setup here, these are the incoming solar fuses at the moment here. So we've got one string positive negative and this is the second string positive negative. Okay, so here you got the setup. So you can see all oh, the sun is coming out now. We're getting 10 amps. Clouds are back. 18 amps. Turn one string off goes to 9, push it back in, goes back to 18, turn off the other string, goes down to 9. So roughly 50% is coming from each string now to, to deliver the 1.2 kilowatts. Now we're getting clouds again. So you can see the current is going up and down. Okay, so you can see roughly half of it is being delivered from each string now, which makes totally sense. So here's my current setup. This is one string, 660 watts, and this is the second string, 660 watts. They're pointing to the same direction in the sky. And at the moment we've got 1200 watts from them, so they're running on maximum capacity. Now we are getting clouds again. Oh, it's just a small window. It goes down to four. So 5.5 amps we are getting at the moment. Okay, I've got this blanket here. We just swing up this blanket onto the solar panels here. I'm trying to cover that. So we've got now good shading on this panel and on the second one as well. And we are still getting 700 watts and full power. Ah, as you can see, it's not 1300 anymore. Okay, so I'll pop you back in here. All right, so the first the first string is not covered at all and the second string has now the blanket. So we've got 9 amps. I'm turning off the one with the shading and we've got 670 watts from the panel which is not shaded at the moment. 660 watts is the maximum power of these three panels anyway. So that's perfect. And I'll and now we've got only the panel with the shading, with the blanket on top of it. And we can see we've got only 400 milliamps, 24, 18 watts. Yeah, remember we have covered almost two panels completely and still it produces 16 watts of energy. Ah, this is a thick cloud now. We have to wait until we get to there somewhere. Oh, we are getting close. There's a big window. So we can do the test then. So the sun is coming back now. 600 watts for the panel which is not shaded. Yeah. 
and still 22 watts for the panel for the string which is shaded. So it's still delivering 0.4 amps. Okay, let's wait for the full sun. If the theory is right, we would have a small current going this way into the other string which is shaded and we would have the majority of the current going this way. That is what people are saying, that's why you need a diode in here. So in theory, if we have only this string connected, we've got a certain power to the, to the solar charge controller. And if we reconnect the second string with the shaded, we should see a lower power in the solar charge controller because some of the power from this string flows over this string, right? So there should be lower power going into the solar charge controller. Let's test this. I cannot believe there are still clouds there. It goes up and down, up and down. Disproves my theory. It disproves my whole test. <laughs> what is going on? There was a big blue sky window. Jeez, there's the last bits of this cloud. Okay, so there's a window now. We should see 600, 600 watts now. Constant. All right, 7.7 .7 amps. And we put the next string in with the shading. And you can see the power actually goes up. We've got six, uh, 7.9 amps coming in now. I turn off the shaded again, shaded string, power goes down. Only the unshaded string is now in. I do it again. About 30 watts more. So I'll turn off the string which is not shaded and we should see exactly these 30 watts. There we go. So even with the shading, the solar string still produces 30 watts and pushes 0.4 amps into the system now. The charge controller now gets only power from, from the shading, from the shaded string. So and delivers half an amp to the battery. All right, let's, um, let's take this cover off again. Just need to harvest this energy, right? You don't want that. Okay, check it off. Yeah, and now we've got full power again from both strings. So when I turn one off, we will see it goes 603. And now I'll put the other one back in, take the other one off. 594, so almost the same power from both strings. All right, guys, so far this test from today, better take my phone off there. <laughs> so this has actually disproved this theory. Even with shading on one string, there's no power going from the other strings through the shaded string. And I don't believe you can have such a strong shading on only one string of your solar panels that the other panels would feed power into this string. That would mean the shaded string would have a significant lower voltage. Well, probably if you take cardboard or something, it would cover most of the panels. You probably can achieve this, but this is not a scenario which is usually happening outside. You know, you've got either a tree or a building or a chimney or some other a light pole or something which has a shade across your whole system. But this is not covering all of the panel area. So, as you have seen, we have covered about 50% of the panels with this cloth and it was still delivering 30 watts of power to the solar charge controller. So, even under heaviest shading, we are still making power. And this contributes to the other strings as well and charges your battery on top, you know. So, that means you don't need... That just means you don't, you don't need a diode or something in your strings at all. They're all delivering power. Even the current coming from this string is very small if it's shaded, but there's still power flowing this way into the solar charge controller, charging our batteries. All right, guys, so far this little test, this quick video from today, I hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. And very basic stuff actually, but still there is some confusion out there, what you have to do and what's the effect of it. We have disproven you don't need diodes in your solar strings. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel. Stay charged, stay safe, and I shall catch you in the next video very soon. 
Thanks again, guys. See you then. Bye-bye.